Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today's question is, can I analyze the case of Matthew Perry? Just a reminder, I'm not diagnosing anybody in this video, only speculating about what could be happening in a situation like this. If you enjoy this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and consider supporting me on Patreon. I'll put the link to Patreon in the description for this video. First, I'll look at the background of Matthew Perry, then offer my analysis. Matthew Langford Perry was born on August 19, 1969, in Williamstown, Massachusetts. His father was an American actor, and his mother was a Canadian journalist. Before Matthew reached the age of one, his parents divorced. His mother married a broadcast journalist named Keith Morrison, who was best known for his work on Dateline NBC. Matthew was mostly raised in Ottawa, Canada. When he was 14 years old, he started consuming alcohol. Matthew would struggle with substance use for his entire life. At the age of 15, Matthew moved to Los Angeles and lived with his father. He appeared in several high school stage productions and performed comedy at a club in Los Angeles. In 1987, Matthew graduated from high school. He originally intended to go to college, but gave up his dreams of getting an education after being given a role in a TV series. He started a show that was eventually named Boys Will Be Boys. Matthew went on to be featured in the 1988 movie A Night in the Life of Jimmy Reardon. Over the next few years, Matthew appeared in a few different TV series like Growing Pains, Beverly Hills 90210, and Home Free. In 1993, Matthew was working on a pilot titled LAX 2194. The show was about a baggage handler at Los Angeles Airport who helped extraterrestrial beings navigate the airport. As Matthew was doing this, the producers of the TV show Friends were holding auditions. Initially, Matthew was not permitted to audition because he was on that pilot for the airport show. Not surprisingly, the pilot was canceled and Matthew was allowed to audition. He was cast as the character Chandler Bing. The producers felt as though he was perfect for the role. The show Friends featured five other main cast members, Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, Lisa Kudrow, Matt LeBlanc, and David Schwimmer. They played the characters Rachel, Monica, Phoebe, Joey, and Ross, respectively. At 24 years old, Matthew was the youngest member of the main cast. The TV series Friends premiered in September of 1994 and ran for 10 seasons. It became one of the most celebrated shows in television history. Matthew and his five co-stars were all propelled to fame and obtained substantial wealth. By the fifth season of the show, each main cast member was earning $100,000 per episode. For the last two seasons of the show, that number was $1 million per episode. In addition, due to syndication, the cast members earned millions of dollars a year, even after they stopped working. During his time on Friends and afterward, Matthew continued to work as an actor. He was featured in a few movies, including Fool's Rush In in 1997, Three to Tango in 1999, The Whole Nine Yards in 2000, and in 2004, the sequel to that movie, The Whole Ten Yards. As far as television, Matthew appeared in the series Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip. In 2012, he was cast as the star of the series Go On, about a sportscaster who was mandated to receive psychotherapy. The show was canceled after one season. In 2015, Matthew played Oscar Madison in a revival of the situation comedy The Odd Couple. It ran for three seasons. In 2021, Matthew Perry appeared on the Friends reunion show on HBO Max, for which he received $2.5 million. Matthew also earned money by publishing a book titled Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing. The Big Terrible Thing was substance use. In the book, Matthew talked about how substances almost destroyed his life. On October 28, 2023, Matthew Perry spent some time playing a game called Pickleball. After this, he returned to his house in the Pacific Palisades neighborhood of Los Angeles. At about 4.07 p.m., emergency workers responded to his home for a water emergency. They found that 54-year-old Matthew Perry was dead in his hot tub. The police said that they will need some time to determine his cause of death, but indicated that Matthew appeared to die 
from drowning. No illegal substances were found in Matthew's residence, but the authorities did find prescription medication used to treat COPD, depression, and anxiety. Now moving to my analysis. Here are my thoughts in a few areas that stood out to me in this case. Item number one, Matthew Perry had a tremendous desire to achieve fame, which started at a young age. He once said, quote, there was steam coming out of my ears. I wanted to be famous so badly. You want the attention, you want the bucks, and you want the best seat in the restaurant, unquote. After becoming popular on the TV show Friends, Matthew would go to a local mall in order to be recognized by customers. The experience of being famous was extraordinary for about eight months. Matthew said that he had a feeling of, quote, I've made it, I'm thrilled, there's no problem in the world, unquote. After this, he realized that the feeling did not accomplish anything. It did not fill any of the holes in his life. Item number two, Matthew Perry will be best remembered for his work on Friends. One compelling element of the series was how, with six main cast members, viewers could relate to at least one of the personalities on the show. There was something for everyone. People could see themselves reflected on the screen. Each character was well-written, well-acted, and most of the characters developed appropriately throughout the series. Phoebe was whimsical, imprecise, and interested in New Age beliefs. She had a mysterious and bizarre past, was quirky, and was heavily invested in fantasy. Ross was socially clumsy, a little arrogant, and sometimes jealous, but ultimately sensitive, caring, and good-hearted. Joey was impulsive, laid-back, and not intellectually gifted, but always wanted the best outcome for everyone else. Rachel had a sense of entitlement, was attention-seeking, and highly focused on her appearance. Monica was perfectionistic and organized. She was insecure about her struggles with weight in the past. And finally, Matthew Perry's character, Chandler Bing, was financially responsible, eager to please, lacking in confidence, sarcastic, and always ready to deliver a joke. His character could find the humor in just about any situation, and his timing was perfect. All the actors were pretty good, but there is this sense that only Matthew Perry could have been cast as Chandler Bing. During the series, Chandler was the one who always seemed to have a lot going on beneath the surface. He was the most complex character of the six friends. Perhaps this was a reflection of Matthew Perry. He once implied that he did not play Chandler, he was Chandler. This brings me to item number three. Matthew struggled with substance use for much of his life. As I mentioned, he started drinking at the age of 14, but his addiction didn't really get out of control until 1997, when he was prescribed narcotics after being involved in a jet ski collision. Within a year and a half, he was taking up to 55 Vicodin pills a day. In addition, he was drinking excessive quantities of alcohol. Matthew spent somewhere around $9 million in his efforts to recover from substance use. He participated in psychotherapy twice a week for 30 years. He attended 6,000 Alcoholics Anonymous meetings, went through detox 65 times, and went to rehab 15 times. He claimed that he became sober in 2001, although he had 60 to 70 mishaps after that. Matthew almost died a few times. For example, after experiencing a massive failure of his colon in 2018. On another occasion, when he was in rehab in Switzerland, he almost died after his heart stopped. Matthew attributed his substance use to bad luck. Item number four, when Matthew appeared on the Friends reunion show in 2021, his behavior was markedly different than the other cast members. He appeared to be melancholy, maintained a more serious tone, and was not as energetic. There was a sadness and a distance in his mannerisms. When talking about his time on the series, he explained how the pressure of trying to get laughs from the live audience was overwhelming. He indicated that it felt like he would die. The other main cast members appeared to be surprised that Matthew had that experience on the show, almost like they had no idea what he was feeling during that time. For the most part, Matthew was able to keep his internal struggle hidden from others and remain highly functional when he was playing Chandler. Item number five, what do I think happened with Matthew Perry? Could his death have been connected to his adverse experiences? This is just a theory, my opinion. 
I believe that Matthew Perry was a high sensation seeker who thought that having extreme pleasurable experiences would help him find purpose in life. He was able to achieve incredible success due to a mixture of hard work, talent, and good fortune. Matthew thought that being famous would satisfy him, but it did not. When he was prescribed narcotics, he found new hope. He discovered something that he thought could succeed where fame had failed. Once again, Matthew was incorrect. He now found himself in a worse position. He was dealing with an adversary more formidable than fame. Substances can give incredible temporary pleasure, but this comes at a horrible, permanent cost. I don't know exactly what happened to Matthew Perry as far as his death. Maybe it was purely accidental, like he slipped in the hot tub and drowned. It is reasonable to believe, however, that his death was somehow tied to the experiences of his life. This is consistent with the pattern that we see with substance use. People who battle with addiction often find themselves with a false hope. They believe that the worst consequences of the substance use are behind them, as if they largely escaped the mental and physical penalties of the use. All too often, however, the substances get their revenge. Substance use is a greedy conspirator who frequently demands one final payment. Now moving to my final thoughts. Some actors simply fill a role. They mold their character to fit seamlessly into a TV series or a movie. Other actors elevate their character. They transcend the written script and add something that was never explicitly articulated. In doing so, they transform from an ordinary and forgettable performer into a legend. Matthew Perry fell into this category. He was diligent, smart, talented, and like so many actors, not without his imperfections. He was able to take his experiences, even the adverse ones, and transform Chandler Bing into an iconic character, one that was carefully woven into one of the best shows on television. Matthew said that he aspired to be remembered not just as a cast member on Friends, but as someone who helped people overcome addiction. Perhaps his life and death will serve as a poignant reminder of the perilous abyss that fame and substance use can become. In the end, by teaching that lesson, Matthew Perry will live on for many as a true friend. Those are my thoughts on the case of Matthew Perry. Please put any opinions and thoughts in the comment section. They always generate an interesting dialogue. As always, I hope you found my analysis of this topic to be informative. Thanks for watching.